Hi Leo, I'm Karma. Welcome to Karma Light Readings. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you. Please make sure that you subscribe and like this video. This is Leo's love reading for August 17th through the 24th. So love reading for the 17th through the 24th. Um, in the pre-shuffle, I had the lover's card and the magician in reverse um, fall out. And that was just letting me know that someone, either you or your partner, is fearful right now or only in, like they're only in the mind frame of lack. They're only realizing and seeing what they're lacking, okay? So this could be you, Leo, um, or this could be your partner. But somebody is unable to see forward right now, okay? Um, <clears throat> and that's just letting me know that there's some things that need to be released within for that person. So I have the Six of Swords in reverse, okay? There could have been, you guys could be apart, okay? You guys could be apart, and so there's a lot of um, in un, like it's not balanced in the connection. And what I mean is, if you guys live apart or don't live close, it's like you're not seeing each other enough, so it might feel off balance. But I also feel like Spirit is saying there's a lot of back and forth. This could be back and forth in the way that you guys communicate with each other, or your perception of each other, or this could be back and forth um, as far as arguments in one minute you're on and one minute you're you're off or cold hot and cold okay so spirit what other messages do we have for leo in love august 17th through 24th either some of you could be maybe you guys have been apart and you're you're moving towards seeing each other again if there was some sort of break in the connection okay okay so i feel as though somebody's very overwhelmed there's they're like they're juggling so much right now there there's so much that they're juggling this is why we have the two of pentacles and i have sagittarius energy so fire energy again leo um this could be you leo sagittarius or aries um but i'm really getting the feeling that somebody's very overwhelmed okay this guy he already has trouble on his own balancing things okay he's like kind of like wibbly wobbly all over the place but then when i have temperance upside down that's really letting me know that somebody's struggling. Somebody's really focusing on the lack of, and that's why I had the magician come in reverse in the beginning. But I have the three of swords, okay? So this could have been recent. Maybe somebody's moving out of these feelings now, and that's why Spirit's giving us the three of swords, okay? Because the three of swords is all about like renewal, okay? Your faith, you're restoring your trust and your faith. There's healing going on spirit <clears throat> what can leo expect in love august 17th through the 24th leo love august 17th through the 24th okay wow oh wow so somebody's really feeling out of sorts nine of pentacles in reverse it's like i'm really feeling like this is not somebody's energy towards the other person but like their own energy towards themselves. Like somebody's just feeling really down, okay? Somebody who's usually like put together, takes care of themselves, does what they need to do, um, you know, knows they look good and feels good. They're just not feeling like themselves anymore. They're, they're lost almost, but I, I keep going back to lack of. So I don't know if this is you, Leo, or your partner, but some of you are feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. So let's see, Spirit, can you explain to me why the Nine of Pentacles is here in reverse? Can you let the cat out? I'm sorry, my cat is like climbing up my screen door. Thank you. 
spirit. What do we have here? Yeah. Three of Wands. So it's like somebody's trying to... They're looking out ahead in their future. This could be you, of course, or your partner, but somebody's looking ahead and they're trying to strategically plan their next move. If I take this route, where am I gonna go? If I take this route, how far am I gonna get? But at the same time that they're they're looking at all of the, the things that they need to do, they're still holding on to something, okay? but they're gonna be successful. You're gonna be successful. If this is you, if you are realizing that you're at a crossroads, okay? <clears throat> and you need to make a decision in your life somewhere. I see that it's gonna be very fulfilling for you, okay? It's like, this is wish, this is wish fulfilled, okay? Um, it's a happy time I'm feeling a lot of happiness and excitement, but it's empty. Yeah, why is it empty? So again, King of Wands in reverse. So this is fire energy. You, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, but in reverse. So this is somebody who's like being really immature and like irresponsible towards the connection. It's like, <laughs> I keep seeing a rubber band ball being thrown at a brick wall and bouncing off. So I'm assuming that spirit giving me the message of like, you, you, it's so clear to you or to the other person. And they feel like, or you feel like, you're just talking to a brick wall and everything you say is bouncing back or everything that you're putting out into the universe, you know, you're putting out good, but it's, it's coming back negatively to you and you're not getting what you want. Somewhere somebody is just being blind to something and acting very immature. That's very interesting. Spirit, why is the Nine of Cups, or I'm sorry, the King of Wands in reverse by the Nine of Cups? Oh. Okay, so somebody is, it's like somebody wants more from the connection and the other person can't give it because I have the Six of Cups in reverse. So this is letting me know that it's like somebody's being stingy with their time, okay? This could be you, Leo, or this could be your partner. But somebody isn't, it's like there is a connection, but somebody isn't putting in what the other person deems appropriate, if that makes sense. Sarah, what can Leo expect for love August 17th? Through, oh, okay, so yeah, it's like they're being so lazy. There's so much attraction in this connection and there's so much passion, but it's almost like they, they're not doing it on purpose. It's like they're just being lazy. Like there's, there's other things going on. So this person isn't really putting in the effort, not because they don't want to, it's literally just like, okay, I have too much on my plate, this can sit here and nothing's gonna happen to that, it's gonna be okay. That's the energy that I'm feeling. Um, and this could be you, Leo, again, this could be how your partner's feeling or how you're feeling towards your partner, but I'm feeling as though somebody's being very lackadaisical to the connection because they just know it's always going to be there, okay? Spirit, can we please see? what Leo can expect in love August 17th. Yeah, it's like I said, they're, they're, it's like they're clueless. They're so like arrogant. They're not realizing, they're so in themselves and, and, and with what's going on right now in their situation that they're not even realizing the effects of what they're doing or saying, if that makes sense, Leo. So again, this could be how you're acting towards a connection or how your partner is acting towards a connection. But I don't feel like it is on purpose. I really feel like it's just somebody lost in their own moment. They're just being arrogant. They're just being arrogant and, and unable to 
to see what they're saying or doing. Let's get some clarification here with this. Spirit. Spirit, can I have clarification, please, on this reading for Leo Love? What to expect August 17th through the 24th? They're lost. They're lost in their own stuff. Okay, so the first card that I have is nothingness. No thingness. So they're lost. They're lost in these things, quote unquote, and this stress. This again, this could be you, Leo, or this could be um, your your partner. But somebody is lost in their things and what they have going on. And Spirit is saying, but in reality, it's nothing. It's nothing that should be disconnecting them and keeping them off um, alignment so much, okay? But I do see here, Spirit has given us change and success. So something is happening. Again, we have the full moon. I'm actually recording this on the night of the full moon. So it's August 15th right now. And this full moon is bringing about change for so many of us, okay? Um, and change for the better. And so I love that the cards that came out was change and success. Um, this just lets me know that <clears throat> while it may seem like this right now, what you can expect um, this week. And again, for some of you, don't feel down as the week goes on. If you haven't seen a change, it could be towards the end of the week for you. But I see the Spirit is saying that the universe is stepping in, okay? And they're going to kind of push and catapult all of us into where we need to be. So this, this being lost in the nothingness could disappear as quickly as it shows up, is, is what I'm feeling. And then we have success. So yes, that's a good time. Spirit, can we have clarification and closing messages, please, for Leo? See? Exactly friendliness so things should start getting better and clear up towards the end of the week but for some reason somebody in this connection is really holding on to to the things that they're going through and it's it's kind of putting a a damper on on the connection because it's making somebody feel it's making somebody feel disconnected here, can we have closing messages for Leo Love, August 17th through the 24th? 17th through the 24th, what do we have? Isolation, yeah. So again, the nothingness. Somebody is in isolation mode, which is much like the hermit, okay? That's what it makes me think of. But it, isolation, this person is in their mind, okay? They're going through things each um, internally. And they're trying to figure out, you know, which way do I go? Which path? How do I how do I juggle this? How do I handle this? And we've seen that throughout this reading too, Leo. Trust. So Spirit is saying to trust. Again, this can be your energy or it can be what your partner is going through right now, Leo. But um, the universe is saying trust. So trust that you know, to fall into the universe. Trust that the universe is going to take care of you. Trust that you are exactly where you are supposed to be. And the things that, you know, you are going through are supposed to be happening to you to learn something, okay? Mind. I love it. I mean, it's really what I was explaining to you. So, like I said, somebody is stuck in their in their mind, Leo. Um, and, and I've seen that kind of coming through the message here, but somebody is stuck with the little mundane things and they're allowing that to distract them um, from this connection. So there might be um, a pullback this week, okay? That's what I'm feeling. There could be um, a pullback, and but I really feel like Spirit is saying don't um, dig too deep into that, whether that's what your partner is doing to you or what you're doing to your partner. I don't see it ending. I just feel like there might be a pullback and somebody is kind of going through something um, stressful. Let's get a few more cards for closing messages. Spirit, closing messages for Leo, love, August 17th through the 24th. What can we expect? 
this coming week, Leo Love, 17th through the 24th. One more card. Thank you. Oh, I love it. The um, Lilies and the Rink. So again, this is beautiful. Um, everything is fine. I feel like there's going to be some sort of stronger move forward, okay, um, in this connection, either towards the end of the week or after they get through this hump. Whoever it is that's going through this, I feel like they're just, it's something that they need to go through and release. But when I have the lilies in the ring, there's some sort of pure commitment, pure love, pure energy towards this commitment, okay, and, and how it's perceived. I, I feel on both ends, but sometimes people are going to go through a little rough patch and I feel spirit is saying, don't hold on to this too tight. Okay, Leo, that's all that I'm getting from spirit today. Again, this is your love reading for August 17th through 24th. Please make sure you subscribe. Um, there's a link below to my Etsy page. If you're interested in a personal reading, please click on the link as well as my Instagram and Facebook. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next week.